everyone welcome to exam me so you all prepared for nabard grade a 2020 prelims okay so what we have planned here is we are going to provide you a series of five videos wherein we are going to cover rough 100 questions and this is as a revision sort for your prelims exam so without wasting too much of your time i'll take you to the session and this is part one in this series and uh, yes, this is the first question in this series. The 26th session of the Conference of Parties, that is COP26, or all the countries which are part of this United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, they have organized a meeting, sort of, which is uh, 26th time that they, have, they are organizing this. And this is scheduled to be held from 9th to 19th November 2020. So, and they have decided about this in Feb very recently. That they have revealed uh, this news. And this they are going to conduct in Scotland. In Scotland, there's a place called Glasgow. So, in Glasgow, Scotland, UK, they are going to organize this conference of the party COP26. So next question, which of the following states has launched Yudhavu, the, the meaning of Yudhavu is warrior in that particular language, it's a mobile app through which the public can inform police about the drug abuse and its distribution. So this is an app wherein uh, public, uh, general public can uh, inform police about uh, the drug abuse and uh, how it's being made available to public. So this Kerala, Kerala state has launched this mobile app next a three day long 17th edition of bio asia 2020 and uh, this is this bio asia 2020 is the asia's largest biotechnology and life science forum so all the biotechnologists and uh, people related to life sciences uh, they can attend this with the theme of today for tomorrow this was conducted in hyderabad telangana very recently and which of the country for this event as part of the annual tradition every year uh, a new country will be a partner country and wherein around 40 member team comprising industries academy and startups from switzerland have participated in this event so i have already mentioned the answer here and the correct answer is switzerland yes switzerland is a partner country for this event which is 17th edition of bio asia 2020 which is Largest Biotechnology and Life Science Forum. Next question. Uh, which of the following countries will be India's partner country at the Technology Summit 2020? This is going to be held in uh, national capital that is New Delhi. This was announced by our Honorable President of India, Ramnath Kovin, very recently, wherein India will also organize a youth hackathon in the same country later this year. So currently, in some time, we are going to conduct technology summit and with partnering with Portugal. And again, later this year, India will organize a youth hackathon in Portugal. This is a mutual uh, uh, increase in cooperation and everything. Next question. The Central Board of Directors of RBA, that is Reserve Bank of India, at its 582nd meeting recommended aligning the financial year of RBI. RBI's financial year is between July to June. Okay. So, but they want to align that with our government's, central government's uh, fiscal year, that is April to March, from the year 2020-21. And the proposal is being sent to the government for its approval. So, this is what they have thought. Earlier, it was July to June, but now they want to align it with the government's uh, uh, financial year. So, that the, the transition and any decision making that would be smooth. Apiary on wheels. It's a unique concept for easy maintenance of bee box and migration of hive colonies. This was designed by which of the following or institutions or organizations you can say. Here yeah, the correct answer is KVIC. KVIC that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. This has launched this and very recently Nitin, uh, Nitin Gadkari who is the Indian Minister for Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. He has launched this flag of this in New Delhi, along with Sri Vinay Kumar Saxena. Uh, Vinay Kumar Saxena is the chairman of KVIC. 
so maybe this is also important they might ask who is the chairman of the fsc and the fsme uh, union ministry of labor and transport so this is the note this is important for rd as well next which of the following states forest department and wildlife conservation trust for the first time has radio tagged an indian pangolin that is manis crassitorica in order to know its ecology and develop an effective conservation plan this is uh, about an animal which is called pangolin and there is very less research that has been done on this and this particular uh, uh, radio tagging of indian pangolin has been done by has been done by madhya pradesh and uh, why they have done this because 9th feb uh, sorry 15th february we have uh, observed it as world pangolin day so during that they had planned this and they did this and uh, in general we celebrate every third saturday of feb as world pangolin day and this year it fell on 15th feb and this is the ninth world pangolin day that we have celebrated this year as part of which madhya pradesh government has radio tagged indian pangolins to study their ecology and other structures so that to conserve uh, for conservation of those animals next the international institute for strategic studies that is iiss it releases its annual military balance report which states that for the year 2019 the global this hiked by 4% showing the largest growth in the last 10, 10 years in the last 10 years this is the highest growth that they have recorded the whole uh, world as such with the world's biggest defense spenders are in united states china and south saudi arabia and india has ranked in this particular report that it that is military balance report by iiss india has ranked fifth so india is the uh, fifth uh, highest Next question: Which of the following state governments has launched appreciated commend scheme to boost and honor the police officers every month? So, according to this, the state government of Punjab, this Punjab has launched this scheme. They will honor a police officer every month. This is to boost the uh, motivate them. In fact, which of the following state governments has launched Angan Pau Humma? This is the sowing of first paddy crop, and this. done by this particular uh, festival is done by manipur and uh, manipur's chief minister n viren singh he has launched this program in imphal wherein this uh, sowing of first paddy crop he has uh, paddy crop has been done by the farmers and along with that chief minister has also revealed that they are going to uh, prepare a 260 crore project for providing education facilities to paddy crops in manipur state next mohammad taufeeq alabi has been appointed as a new prime minister recently by which of the following countries and the correct answer here is iraq and this was in news recently and uh, he has been appointed as iraq's new prime minister by its president barhim salih he is the president of iraq and uh, very recently in november 2019 there were very many anti government protesters Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi had to be removed, and Muhammad Taufik Alabi has been appointed as a new Prime Minister. This has happened in February. What is the capital and official currency of Kosovo? This was in news because uh, again their new uh, press Prime Minister uh, has come into place. Albin uh, Kurti, he is the one. He is the new Prime Minister of Kosovo. so it was in news recently and pristina and is the capital of kosovo and euro is the currency so this is all about capital and currencies next which of the following is the first indian sportsman to win a loris world sports award which is considered to be the first test of sport at its 20th annual edition which is held in berlin on feb 17 2020 sachin tendulkar is the one he has received this award and the citation Said the, the award citation said that he carried on the shoulders of a nation. So this is about this award which he had received very recently in Feb. 
next step the next step as per the project 2020-21 the launch of nirvik scheme actually this was launched in october 2019 itself as part of the initiatives uh, uh, that has been taken by the government to improve the corporate uh, structure and everything that business and this was around with nirmala sitaraman during budget also what's the main aim of main aim or objective of nirvik scheme it is to increase the export credit disbursement so this particular scheme it was uh, launched or introduced by ecgc that is export credit guarantee corporation of india and this is only to ease the lending process and also enhance loan availability to the exporters who are, who are exporting the produce so under this new scheme the which is also called as the export credit insurance scheme nirvik actually nirvik stands for niryat rena vikas yojana so this is the abbreviated form of nirvik niryat rena vikas yojana which is also called as export credit insurance scheme so earlier when uh, the expo- the insurance cover that is guaranteed for the principal and interest for whatever loan they are taking for export purpose it was only 60% so but but uh, here now as part of this new cover would be 90% of the principal and interest of whatever loan they are uh, the exporters are taking for export purpose so this is all about nirvik scheme as per the budget 2020-21 how much amount has been allocated to bharat net this is the world's largest rural broadband connectivity program that has been launched by india and for this during this budget they have allocated 6000 crores so that they are planning to Uh, spread i mean uh, to make this uh, program a grand success in uh, rural areas as per the economic survey 2019 20 what is the growth of agriculture for the year 2019 20 the growth is 2.9% and see this has increased from in 2014 15 the growth was negative so it was uh, somewhere around 0.2% this is growth of uh, agriculture and uh, till 2016-17, the uh, government has uh, brought it to 6.3 percent. Again, in 2019-20, it has declined to 2.8 percent. And along with that, uh, uh, the fixed capital formation, the gross fixed capital formation, the GFCF, has also decreased from 17.7 percent to uh, 17.7 percent of gross value added. 2013 14 it was this much and currently for the year 2017 18 the gfcf is 15.2% of gva this is also important so this is about the economic survey and budget and next which of the following state becomes north india's first bird ringing station it has launched this for observation monitoring and research on migratory birds bihar has become the north india's first bird ringing station so that they can observe monitor and research on migratory birds that migrate from other places to here and this is the first in north and but fourth in entire india the first being the tamil nadu in chennai sorry chennai in tamil nadu and jaipur in rajasthan and bhubaneswar in odisha okay so in bihar also it's bagalpur it's a place very much near to Roger Kahan, uh, he has passed away recently. He is a famous author from US, and the best selling of this, uh, the best selling book of this author was The Boys of Summer, and it was not, it was uh, released in 1972, and he passed away recently due to age related ailments. Next, recently Supreme Court of India allowed the introduction of African cheetahs to a suitable habitat in India, where in Kuno Palpur National Park it was found to be a suitable site. Where is this particular uh, Kono Palpur National Park is located? Kono actually this is a uh, this was established as a wildlife sanctuary. Kono Palpur uh, Wildlife Sanctuary or Palpur Kono Wildlife Sanctuary, but later in 2018 it was upgraded to national park. So very recently this was in news as Supreme Court has allowed introduction of African cheetahs, and they found this to be suitable for their habitat. And this. Uh, Next question: The union budget, uh, 
sorry cabinet approved changes in the direct tax vivad sir vishwas bill 2020 with an aim of reducing the litigations related to direct taxes pending in various debt recovery tribunals involving over 9.32 lakh crores this is the amount that is in litigation and the new changes seek to increase the scope of the scheme as it will also include the disputes below this answer is 5 crores earlier the disputes above 5 crores were only entertained in the various debt recovery tribunals under direct tax vivad se vishwas bill but in 2020 again they have made an amendment where the disputes below 2 5 crores were also included in this and this will remain open till june 30 2020 so this is all about the first session of this series and thank you very much i will i'll come with the next session we'll have next part in this series very soon